in the network shown find i1 and the power dissipated in the i100 ohm resistor so power is here okay so power is dissipated in this resistor they have asked you to find and they have asked you to find the value of i1 So we'll start with what we will do is first okay, first we need to find the value of i so we need to find the current which is in this resistor See, this is a total current which is there, which is I1. And this they have given in the question, it is 0.4 I1. So the total current I1 is coming here. The total current I1, which is coming at this point. And it is getting divided between these two branches. This branch and this branch. So I1 is equal to 0 0.4 I1 plus yaha pe jo ja hai current. So that's current. I will call it as IA. Okay, IA. So this is the total current I1 which is equal to 0.4 I1 and IA. From this, I get IA value to be equal to 0.6 I1. So, here the 500 ohms mein current which is flowing, it is 0.6 I1. So, next, what we will do? We need to calculate the value of I1. So, I1 we don't know, right? We don't know the value of I will. So what I will do is I will first apply a KCL to this. This is a loop. Applying KCL to the loop. One, sorry, KVL to the loop. Apply KVL to loop 1. So what do you get when you apply KVL to loop 1? So it is voltage source is there which is going from minus to plus so increasing voltage so it is plus 15 and there is the current so from the current direction what we will take we will take this to be as plus and this to be as minus this to be as plus and this to be as minus so here the current voltage is decreasing so i will take minus Minus 300, minus 300, I1, next coming to 500, minus 500. Abhi yaan pe kwan se current flow ho rai? IA is flowing, which is equal to 0.6 I1, which is equal to 0. So now only I1 is the variable, so I will simplify this. 300 by 1, minus 500. Uh, sorry, 500 into 0. 0.6 will give me around 300 value. This is I1 is equal to 0. So 50 minus 600, I1 is equal to 0. From this, I1 I get 50 divided by 600, which is around 0. 0.083 amps. Okay, so we have found the value of I1. So, the value of I1. Now, the power dissipated in the 
power dissipated in the 500 ohm resistor is given as I A square into R. What is the value of I A? I A is 0.6 I1 whole square. And what is the value of R? It is 500. And we have found the value of I1 as 0.083. Whole square into 500. So this will come, simplification will come around 1.25 volts. So the power dissipated in the 500 ohm resistor is 1.25 volts. So this completes the problem. We'll move on to the next step. Next step we will move on to So find I in the given network. So again, we start with, okay, so yeah, they have given here. We are given it the value of two amps, which is from this junction it is coming out. There is a current I which is coming in coming to this junction. So there are this current I is getting divided between these two branches. So the so current coming is I, and there is current of two amps which is moving out from this junction. So the remaining current that is I minus two will flow in this branch. So from the circuit, the current which is flowing in this branch is I minus two. So from the circuit, what we will write, the current which is flowing in the branch is I minus two. So what is the value of Vx? Vx is two into I minus two. Two is the value of resistor and I is the current flowing through it will give me the value of Vx. Let us call this as equation number one. Now we will apply a KVL to this loop, okay? So the, they have asked you to find the value of I. So I is in this loop. So I will take this loop to be as loop number two. We will apply KVL to loop two. Okay, when I apply KVL, so uh, we will take the direction of the current. We will take the direction of current not in this way. We will take the direction of the current as given in the question, which is anti-clockwise. Okay. Because in the question they have mentioned it is moving from it is moving in anti-clockwise direction. So we will take it in anti-clockwise direction. So we will start with this. Okay, voltage. So this voltage is from moving from minus to plus. So increasing voltage. So I will write plus three. Vx, then minus 5 current I, then there is minus 4V because voltage is coming from plus to minus, then there is minus Vx, which is equal to 0. Now you substitute the value of Vx, which we have found in the equation 1. So Vx value substitute 2 into I minus 2, minus 5I, minus 4, minus 2 into I minus 2, which is equal to 0. So this will be 6I minus 12, minus 5I, minus 4, minus 2I, plus is equal to 0. So this is 6i minus 5i is 1i. 
one nine minus two i is minus then minus twelve minus four is minus sixteen minus sixteen plus four is minus is equal to zero. So from this, what do I get? I value is equal to minus twelve amps. Okay, so this has been asked in the question. So we have found the value of I to be equal to minus 12. And so this completes the sum.